to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian, Brian Man Peacock. And we just watched the first round of the May Young Classic. Yeah, I think we just... Can we just spend four hours doing that? Yeah. Well, a little less. Because we skipped a bunch of stuff. Yeah. We skipped, like, the intro of everything. We skipped the outro of everything. You know, the outro where they're like, Hey, that thing you just watched, let us tell you what happened. Right. <laughs> I hate that crap. So, yeah, we just... Got done watching it. Um, it was incredible. I got a lot of picks right. Um, I think the only one that I like, I was surprised of was Mia Yim defeating Sarah Logan. Yeah. Uh, super happy that Piper Niven was moving on. Oh, me too. Uh, your who's your pick? Who do you think is gonna win this thing? Especially now that Sarah Logan's gone. Yeah. That's who I wanted to win. Yeah. Who, um, see, I think we're going to have, for the final, I think it's going to be, uh, oh, Princess Kimberly. What's her new name again? Uh, Abby Lath. Abby Lath. That's right. Uh, I think she's going to win the whole thing. You think so? I think so. Okay. Let me see if I can find an updated bracket. Yeah. Just so. so my pick, Candice LeRae, moved on. Super happy about that. Uh, let's see, who else moved? I was not sure what was going to happen between Tessa Blanchard and Kyrie Sane. But yeah. Kyrie Sane's elbow drop. Wow. Yeah, that's ridiculous. What is it about her elbow drop that's so different? Because, like, it, it's an elbow drop. It is Macho Man Randy Savage's elbow drop. Stop no, looking at me, Jess. You're freaking me out. She's just hot. You didn't even see her. You were sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. I was watching videos on Facebook. Thanks. What is it about her elbow drop? Because it's like, she's tinier. It shouldn't look more impactful than... It, it is more impactful. It looks crazy. Have you seen an enraged tiny woman before? Do you know Brenda? Just watched a bunch. Oh my god, they're crazy. Apparently. I think it's just the way she throws her body at... Is she yeah. can do the same thing Neville's can... The same thing that Neville can do. Oh. Just the crazy, it's the arm movements, it's the impact, it's everything. It's a combination of a lot of things. It's not somebody just jumping on somebody with an elbow. It's the theatrics. Yeah. I, I mean, and it's, yeah. This is what you guys are talking about. What's that? An elbow drop. Yeah, it's crazy. It. Um, And Abby Lath did defeat Jazzy Jazzy Gabber? 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 Yeah. Gar- 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 did you have any predictions? Uh, I did predictions. He never did. I never had around. Slacker. Either. You can find my predictions on our website or on our Facebook. I'm doing one predictions right now. You after can't do predictions after you... Whatever. <laughs> yes, he can. You know nothing, Jacob. He, he can and he will. So, Abby Lath and Jazzy Gabber had an absolutely incredible match. Like, I didn't know how that was going to go simply because of how big Jazzy is. Like, she's terrifying. Yes. She looks like she could have just ripped Abby's head off at any point. Pretty much. But, Abby Lath, with her just really infinite charisma and just never giving up, I didn't know what are they what is her finish with the alligator clutch, the crocodile clutch, that that, that pin. I've, I've heard what it's called. I didn't know that was May Young's finisher. I didn't either. Then again, I don't think I've watched May Young wrestle too much. No. I know May Young is like a personality. Right. Along with the the fabulous Moolah. 
<laughs> right, exactly. Mula, baby. <laughs> Not quite. Close, yeah, though, no. maybe. Uh, Haters. Um, what? The other match that really surprised oh. me was Dakota Kai versus Kavita Devi. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. Because, uh, from what I understand, Devi was supposed to win, maybe? The whole thing. You've yeah. been talking about that. And uh, I I I want I chose Dakota Kai just because her name is more fun to say. Yeah, and she, well, I mean overall she's just more interesting. First of all, um, let me see if I can get my bracket up here. Did that dweeb chick win? Dweeb S- Serena Deeb, you watched that match. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Wait, was that the one I said she looked like a mom? Yes. Yes. Like, she definitely looked like she drove her kids in a minivan to soccer and karate. <laughs> oh, my God. She looks you like say that like it's a, a bad thing, though. No, it's just funny. Like, I can see her in mom jeans with a little Starbucks coffee and telling little Jimmy to stop picking his nose in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so I got the bracket up here. And okay, I think yeah. I remember how all these went. Okay, because I'm not finding an actual bracket. Yeah, and like nobody's updated there, so uh, I think I know what I'm doing tonight. Um, so Abby Lath won, and then Rachel Evers won, who I would yeah. not have picked. Against who? Marty Bell. Rachel Evers yeah. is the daughter of Paul Everett, you know, obviously the manager of AOP, Office of Pain. Boy, and boy. who's also boring. She is boring. She is creative female wrestler number two. I don't think she was boring. There's it nothing was, special. It wasn't it? It was a roll up too. Like it was just a very not interesting match. But it wasn't bad. It, it, eh. Kind of was. Sorry. I didn't think it was that bad. Eh. I can't wait to see Abby Leif wrecker. She reminded me of. Yeah, actually, you know who I thought of. While watching that match. Who's that? John Cena. Yeah? Yeah. Just very safe. Very. Okay. You know, she, like you said, she was wearing her merchandise. Yeah. Just very, very corporate, very family friendly. Probably yeah. never going to be heel. No. Just. Okay. Yeah, I see where you're going. A safe bet. Okay. Um, The next match. I got this one wrong. Uh, well, I also got the Rachel Evers Marty Bell one wrong. I thought Marty Bell was going to win. Uh, Princessa Suhei versus Kaylee Ray. I thought for sure Kaylee Ray was winning that one. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Man, I wanted Kaylee Ray to win. Because I also wanted Kaylee Ray to defeat Marty Bell and then go on to face Candice LeRae. Yeah. Because, but... damn, that would have been a great match. Yeah. Was that the fairy princess versus She-Hulk? That, that's Abby Lath versus Jazzy Oh Gather. my god, that woman looked like... What did I say she looked like? I don't like remember. Pink Can we repeat it on the podcast? And... <laughs> yeah. So. Oh yeah, Pink on steroids? No, like... Pink and Storm had a baby. Pink, Storm, and the Mountain had a baby. Okay. What? Just any mountain? The Mountain. The Mountain, I know. Like from Game of Thrones. I know. The Mountain. Game of Dorks, gotcha. No, Game of Thrones. Then we had Zia, Zia Lee, and Mercedes Martinez. And I did get that right. Mer- Mercedes Martinez won that. She's frightening. She is. She's like, I don't even know. She's just terrifying. <laughs> yeah. She looks like she can snap some people in half. And from what I understand, Mercedes Martinez, Nicole Savoy, and Shayna Baszler are all pretty good friends. And they're all, like, legit MMA people. Legit what? MMA people. Okay. I thought you said anime. I thought you said anime <laughs> I people, too. Like, um, legit okay. anime people. Uh, like, they're animated. No, but. I was like, hold on. So you mean... You mean to add that tiger chick in there, too? Because she was kind of... Oh, kinda, God. We'll get oh, to that in a that minute. that was so weird. Um... Yeah, I Mercedes Martinez might win the whole thing, oh. just because of how impressive she is. No, she's. I don't think she will. She needs to get signed. 
She probably has been. I'm sure all four of the four horsewomen have been. Well, I hope so. Well, she's not one of them. Uh, oh, that's right. Shayna Baszler is. Yeah. Um, then we went to Nicole Savoy and Re- Reina Gonzalez. Yeah, it was weird. The cowboy of the opera. The, the cowgirl cow- of the opera. Yeah, cowgirl of the opera. That was bizarre. Yeah. She had, like, like you know, like a bass like Robin would wear, but only on one eye, and assless chaps. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> okay, weird. as someone who actually really enjoys the Phantom of the Opera, that's but isn't a it on the insulting. right side? Right, the mask is on the right side of the Phantom of the Opera. I don't, I don't Hers remember. is on the but other side. But is she side. saying she's the cowgirl of the opera? Because she like, had just like no, the, that's the just half what mask. we call her, because that's what she looked like. Oh. She looked dumb. She came out with a cowboy hat. I love Phantom of the Opera. With the I'm just making fun of her. Half <laughs> mask thing. Well, then she needs to just chill out. Luckily, she lost. Were they assless yeah. chaps? Yep. All chaps. Well, she had Just throwing that out there. Do what? All chaps are assless. She's throwing oh, that out there, yeah. What about chapstick? That's... Okay, I mean, Jacob, <laughs> you're trying too hard now to be funny. It's okay. Next we had Renee Michelle versus Candice LeRae. My pick. Yeah. That was a good match. That was pretty good, yeah. Anything Candice is in is good. She's my girl. She's winning this whole thing. Kim's your no, girl. No, she's not. Candice LeRae is my girl, too. I'm telling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to tell Johnny Gargano as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, and that's another thing. Like, there's a lot of people saying she's in this tournament because of him. If you are at all familiar with Candice LeRae, you will know she is incredible. I'm not gonna say it doesn't help, but she definitely deserves to be here regardless of him or not. Sure, and they were probably on WWE's radar at the same time. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And had it not been for this tournament and them probably really wanting her to be in it, uh, she probably would have already been in NXT. Yeah, I'm sure. Because she's just, she's that damn good. Yeah. She should be there. Uh, see, what do we have next? Next we have Sarah Logan versus Mia Yim. God damn it, I'm so I, mad. I got right, I was right about this. Mia Yim won. Yeah, when the, <sighs> oh. Now, I that feel like... That finish wasn't cool, though. Like, I was not okay with that finish. What was it? Just that that jawbreaker move. Oh, she... eat defeat. Yeah. Well, that's Mia's finisher. Yeah, but... She does not... it the best of anyone except maybe Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods uses it as well. Enzo Mora uses it as well, but that was I mean, fucking that, awful. It's a cool move, but it shouldn't finish the match, especially at the point they were at. She may have been, like, the first one to use it, too. It's still really you don't like it's like a falling super kick. Yeah, it's it's kind of, it's clever. No, actually, I guess it's more of like a falling sick kick. It's clever, but yeah. it's not it's like the point they were at as well. Like sure, match could have got on a little longer. Yeah. Now I feel like the tournament benefits more from Mia Yim being in it, uh, just because she's a veteran. You know, she's gonna. And she's up against Shayna Baszler. Why? But if she's considered a veteran, Sarah Logan is just as much a veteran. But they didn't pitch her as a veteran. Well, yeah, because they're they're not going back in the different gimmicks. Right. They they never brought up that she used to be a deathmatch wrestler. Right. And not that would at probably all. never get brought up. No. Um. But yeah, I think I think Sarah Logan doesn't need this. Sarah no. Logan is going to be. God, out of all these people, she's got to be, like, the next big thing on NXT for women. Right. She's got to be. I mean, just watching that that package of her, her what, in Kentucky, doing the yeah. chin-ups on the branch. Yeah, she's just pretty. awesome. She's she's right for the main roster. She doesn't even need to be in NXT. Uh, a little NXT wouldn't hurt, but... I think she's freaking fantastic. Yeah. And her losing this tournament... Doesn't seem like a big deal to me. Yeah, I don't think it's the biggest deal. But. And, you know, in the next match, Zeta and Shayna Baszler. I love Zeta, by the way. Yeah. They need to sign her as well. That This was a super impressive match. And that finish of the suplex into the rear naked choke. That was pretty badass. That was very cool. Yeah. Shayna Baszler, another one that's just ready for the main roster. 
<laughs> she's got the gimmick down. She's got the look down. She's got... She does everything. Right. She's ready. That's the one that's part of the four horsewomen, right? Yes. Yeah. And that match that her and Mia Yim are going to have, they're going to beat the hell out of each other. Yeah, it's going to be good. I am looking forward to that one. And who did she fight? The the five-foot person? No, no, no. She fought Zeta. Which? The other MMA girl. Uh, the one that... Uh, she didn't have heroes to look up to when she was growing oh, up, so okay. she became the, her own hero. The one with, like, the, the heart thing? Yes, yes, the weird heart thing. Yeah. Now, next we had, well, we talked about Kyrie Sane and Tessa Blanchard. Uh, and Kyrie Sane won that. And then we had Sage Beckett versus Bianca Belair. Uh, and Bianca won that, Right. Yes. The established one. Yes, this is Bianca yeah. Belair. Which, yeah, no one knows what year she's established. No, she, she is established. And next we had Kavita DeVee. What, did I have this wrong? No, it, it was Kavita DeVee versus Dakota Kai. Yeah. I had Kavita DeVee as a pick. I wanted to pick Dakota Kai, yeah. but I felt like Kavita DeVee was a smart pick. And... uh. Because there's been so much talk on the internet of Kavita Devi is the next big women's thing. Right. You know, they're doing this big push into India. Uh, maybe yeah. they'll just send her to the main roster. You can only push but, so much. Gosh, she's boring. She was boring she's as boring hell. Boring as hell. And she wore a weird dress to the ring. At least she, like, tied that thing around her waist. Yeah, I guess she looks like she just forgot to do. And she's like, oh, oops. Yeah. My belt thingy. The only impressive thing she did was that... Uh, what would you call that? A, a gorilla press? Oh, yeah. yeah. Gorilla press and then drop Dakota Kai on her face? Yeah. God. It was like watching a female great Kali. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. That's what they're going for. Boring. Yes. And I picked Dakota Kai because her name is fun to say. At least, <laughs> uh, at least with, um, uh, uh, Christ, you just said his name. Great Kali. Kali. He's ginormous. Right. He's a spectacle. Right. You can get away with that. Also, yeah, his brain crazy. chop was pretty damn cool. He looked like he murdered people with that chop. Or was it, though? Yeah. I was like Great Khali. <laughs> I i don't like him a lot. I, do, I like him as a spectacle. You know what I like him as? <laughs> what is... I liked him in The Longest Yard. He was awesome in The Longest Yard. <laughs> You're right. Well, besides that. But, yeah. I'm glad... Dakota Kai won, so next... Oh, I got this one wrong as well. Rhea Ripley defeated Miranda Salanas. That's the uh, the soccer chick from Australia. Moved on. And she's... Oh, Rhea Ripley versus Dakota Kai. Two Australians. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wait, no, it's Dakota Kai from New Zealand. No, New Zealand. Close enough. Same place. Yeah. <laughs> uh... That's going to be a really good match. Dakota Kai versus Rhea Ripley. I'm looking forward to that. I didn't realize that was happening because I had this whole... I was wrong with those. Yeah, the... um, What was her name? The one that won? Rhea Ripley? Yeah. She was actually pretty cool. Also, I I pointed out to you, she was really dedicated to that whole half... uh, Half hair in her face thing. Yeah. Every chance she got, she had half of her face covered in her hair. Yep. Every chance. Every promo... Every everything, just always, always, always covered up. Uh, then we had Vanessa Bourne versus Serena Deeb, Dweeb, yeah, the mom. So I guess we're just gonna call her mom from now on. Yeah, <laughs> but she won. It was a good match. It was all right. Yeah, it was, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, Vanessa Bourne, I thought, was actually very strong showing. She's really young. Yeah. I don't know if she signed as well. Did she? Did they say how old she was? No, she looked young. Oh. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure, but she she had a great look. Uh, mm. and then Serena, mom, is moving on, and she will be facing one of my favorites, Piper Niven. Yes. That was a good match. Viper. Viper is so damn badass. Yeah. That was she looked cool. like she killed that poor Santana Garrett girl a few times. Yeah. <laughs> And I want, 
I was cool if she wanted to because she's from Ocala and that's awfully close to us. Yeah, and, and that was Chris Damn. pick to win the whole thing with Santana yeah. Garrett. You mean uh, Chris Braddock? Did I just fuck up? You did. Okay. <laughs> that's a damn. That'll have to get edited out. It, or not. It doesn't matter. It probably... It might matter in the future. It matters. He's still working. That's true. But regardless, it was pretty... And even JR was like, oh, cow. What? Yeah, it was <laughs> pretty funny to hear JR say that. What's that? You can't say that either. I can't call him Tiffer. It's Chris That's his name. Braddock. Yeah, we, we can't use... He he came on the podcast Chris as Chris Braddock. Braddock. So we gotta keep it that way, just in case. Um, Yeah, that was his pick to win the whole thing, and she got knocked out the first round. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> it was cool she was from Ocala. I did, like... I was really curious, like, why her? And he never responded, so... Calling you out, Chris. Go back on that thing and, and reply to why. Because you're crazy. Probably Chris from Ocala. Probably. Uh, then we had... Probably work shows together. Tainara Conti. There you go. <laughs> versus Lacey Evans. Conti. Conti. Don't make the same mistake I did. That's a bad word. Conti. <clears throat> well, that's a... That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. And I just... I do not like Lacey Evans whatsoever. She was better than, than Tainara. Tainara looked lost and confused that entire match. Yeah. That the was... The second she got on the ramp, she... Yeah. She just, did. She would walk down that ramp like, do I go this way? Where Where am I? What do I... Do I go do this I, way? Do I do this? What, what are we doing? Who's that? What is, why, what is this? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't... This is not a great match. That was Lacey Evans is more impressive than I thought. That was a very low point for me. Yeah. I can see that. And then we had uh, <laughs> Cat Cat Girl versus Tony Storm. Oh God! <laughs> I'm glad this is the last one we're talking about. That was bizarre. That was weird. That was beyond bizarre. I ran out of cat puns. Dude, I'm bringing up a picture of this chick just so Jess can see her. Is there that a gimmick so out there weird. of someone who just? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I didn't even say anything yet. <laughs> but but, but, but sure. yes. Whatever Jacob was saying about how she looked lost, I'm wondering if there's like a gimmick where there's just someone who is really dumb, but everything that that person does is just luck. Like if they knock yeah. someone out, it's just yeah. luck. What's, like what's the? Uh, they have no idea what they're doing in the ring, and William like Regal's they'll nephew. swing their arm around and hit somebody. That'd be awesome. You know what a savant is, right? Yeah, I know what a savant is. Well, there was a guy. His gimmick was he was a savant. He was a wrestling savant. Like, outside of the ring, he was incapable of anything. But inside of the ring, he was able to do... Like, he would use... What was his name? I'm talking Eugene. like someone goes Eugene. in there... Eugene, yes, thank you. And, like, they just swing their arm backwards and happen to knock their other wrestler yeah. out. Like, that'd be funny. I'd watch it. What like, is that? <laughs> what am I looking at? Are those real tattoos? Please tell no. me. No. It's makeup. But yeah, she's got, like, the weird cat nose. Where's Luna? Luna, what do you think of this? You're kitty kitty. <laughs> Luna's like, fuck this, I'm out. Got milk? Yeah, she came out and me and Brian were like, what the Even the hell? ring announcer laughed at her. It, it really did sound like it. Cause it honestly sounded like the ring announcer was like, and blah, 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 blah for one ball. What's her name? Uh, uh, kitty kitty see. meow meow? A, 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 Aisha Raymond. Oh my god, stop. And luckily, Tony Storm beat her. We don't have to see her again. But why is she yeah. a cat? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. No or is one knows. she going for a tiger? Trans species? Tiger. Soy, like a tiger. Brown. <laughs> Just trans species, maybe? So, I have... I really think that the last match we have... Oh, no. I had Kavita DeVee versus Candice LeRae. I have to redo this. Uh, do, 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 do. It's going to be... I think it's probably going to be Kyrie Sane versus Candice LeRae with Candice winning. Are these predictions? Or Bianca Belair versus Candice LeRae. Because I feel like they might be pushing Bianca. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Why? Why what? Bianca? 
Yeah. Because she just, she just looks like someone they would push. She's got the doofy ass hair. She's got she's established. She was Lana. We don't know when she's established. She was Lana's bodyguard. And she's just she's been around for a while. It's just a dumb freaking thing WWE might do. Kyrie saying makes more sense. Bianca Belair would be the upset. God, I hope not. There's no one else on that side that would make sense. I would probably give up. Uh, Piper Niven versus Candice LeRae. I yeah. would like that. I'm just kind of going through and... Uh, I mean, Serena Deeb versus Candice LeRae. Serena Deeb's, you know, redemption story. And it, her coming this close to winning. That would be interesting. Yeah. There's a few different interesting stories they could tell here. I'm looking forward to it. Um, what are the semifinals? I don't know. I see May Young Classic semifinals. I was afraid to look it up earlier because I didn't want to get spoilers. And see, here are final spoilers for the May Young Classic. Fuck off. <laughs> has the has the finals been filmed yet? I don't know. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 an episode of Friday. Will be available on demand this Monday at 9 a.m. Why Mondays? Are they messing with us? This us specifically? Monday? Yeah. Um, it's Labor Day. Yeah, you're Maybe not working. That's why. I am. Yeah. Unless you want to record an episode. You're not working at 9 a.m., though. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'm also not waking up at 9 a.m. Okay, there you go. Night. Then you can stay up. I'll, yeah, I'll be will. here. Riley wakes up at 8. There you go. Yeah, well. Even before that. Even before that what? She even wakes up before 8, and then I send her in his room, because... That sounds terrible. Why would you do that? Why would you send a little maniac into his room? I'm not waking up. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, I got, I got this cruise missile I got to deal with. I'm just going to send it over there. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? The cruise missile. I work like She's 90 a and a half missile. hours a week. And... She is wonderful. I didn't say she was She wasn't. is a precious gift from God. A precious cruise Precious, <laughs> precious cruise missile. Tonight she was. So, <laughs> now that we did that. Five through eight will be available this Monday. Uh, let's see, this leads to the highly anticipated finale streaming live from Las Vegas, September twelfth. Weird. Tuesday, September twelfth. <laughs> they are fucking with us specifically. I have a class That's that night. Uh, I don't. Because I don't have any class. I don't have class. Oh, <laughs> uh, that ain't that the truth. Oh, Jacob, you have class. No, I don't. I watch wrestling. What are you talking about? That's classy. No. Watch it we're with not, a cigar. We're not there classy you go. Folk. And some smooth whiskey. <laughs> so I think, God, next weekend we gotta get to the WCPW World Cup Finals. Yeah. Even though I know who wins. Huh? I know who wins. I know. Unfortunately, but don't don't go looking. I uh, know. Yeah. Um, we should just watch it tonight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. I'm about to take some NyQuil and go the fuck to bed. Well, after we're done here. So, we just watched the 15-man battle royal from Raw? Yep. Yes. Which Jeff Hardy won. Yeah. Would not have expected that. He turned 40 today, by the way. Oh, happy. If I'm not mistaken. Ha happy congrats. Yeah. I don't happy know why. What? I don't happy know. My, my brain broke. I said happy congrats for Bro. some reason. Happy birthday, Jeff Hardy. Congratulations. I know you listen to this. To Making it to 40. Yeah. You know what? That is. Makes sense for him. Yeah. Hate to say Sorry. that, but. Uh, so it's going to be Jeff Hardy versus The Miz. When does that match happen? Did they say? Probably No Mercy. I think No Mercy is a SmackDown thing. Then probably. No? No, Fuck because the, 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 hold on. Yeah, Raw, John Cena versus Roman Reigns, that's Raw. So yeah, you're right. It'll be a no mercy. Of course I'm right. Following the fucking logic with these pay-per-views, 
figuring out when's what is getting tiresome. Yeah. Can we just have split pay-per-views all the way? Split custody all the way across. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. Not every other fucking show. Or, you know, just give us pay-per-views and put whatever needs to be on there on there. That's basically what I just said. Good job. <laughs> no more split shows. I thought you were saying only split shows. No, no. Oh, okay, yeah. Only just both shows being on one thing. Yeah. Or we cancel all the pay-per-views and just put NXT. Please. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's do that. Cancel all pay-per-views. They're all canceled. And just give us takeovers. And then just give us, you know, SummerSlam and Survivor Series. and I mean... Yeah. Before the network happened, there was talk of scaling the pay-per-views back and only having so many per year. Now they've done the opposite. They've tripled them. They really have, at least. And they have dropped in quality... Oh, yeah. ...infinitely. Oh, yeah. They have turned into what a terrible episode, a weekly episode, used to be. A bad one. Pretty much. I feel like, though, No Mercy's probably going to be pretty good just no. from Jeff Hardy versus Miz. That's going to be a good match. They, they're probably going to have a good build-up. Yeah, but the show in general will suck. Well, well, so far we have them two. And we have Roman Reigns versus John Cena. What did you think of that promo? Because I thought it was great. Everyone loved it. Everyone was freaking out. It was all over Facebook. Yeah. I finally watched it. Couldn't give two fucks. Okay. Just couldn't give two fucks about either guy? No. It was... Alright, so they burned each other. Great. Good job, guys. Can you keep it going? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. You now, gotta keep people caring. Was it uh, good promos on each side? Yeah. Is it something we normally get from Cena? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Was Roman a little better on the mic this time? But, yeah. you know, what's going to happen next week? I hope, well, if Cena's there, we'll get more Cena. And, and that, you know, that whole part-timing thing really kind of bugs me. Like, everyone giving him shit for part-timing. How long was that guy beyond full-time? Right. Like, he kind of deserves to be part-time now. And like he pointed out, the only reason he's part-time... Because Roman Reigns can't do his damn job. <laughs> it's true. And is he even really part-time? Like, I don't think so. He's on both shows. He probably... Well, I, I don't think he works house shows. That's the thing. Okay. He only works tapings. As far as I know. And that's still enough? It's still enough to put butts in seats and to get people to watch shows. Yep. At the end of the day, that's probably the most important thing. Yep. Uh, he still sells merchandise. Yeah. So that was raw. Something happened with Paul Heyman and Braun Strowman. I think Braun Strowman and Brock are the next big match to happen. So um, that'll be good. I guess. I think Brock's keeping the belt till WrestleMania. And hopefully Joe takes it then. Brock's going to keep the belt for life. Okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> that's when, until he gets injured in UFC and has to give it up. But then won't give it up. And yeah. they have to, they're just like, Brock, you keep the belt. Uh, we're just going to make another one. And, and then Brock just keeps the belt. Oh, forever. no. He keeps the belt. He goes to UFC. Conor McGregor beats him for the WWE Championship and the UFC Championship. Conor takes both those to the WWE, unifies them. They're not even close to the same weight class. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <coughs> Whoops. Yeah, Connor is like 18 weight classes below Lesnar. We'll talk about the fight in a minute. The other thing we that I've been seeing, I talked about that. We weren't we didn't do a show last weekend. There's a special bit of rants up. But that's about it. Um nothing much happened on SmackDown. Uh they're continuing the whole AJ Styles Kevin Owens feud. That's cool. Um, yes. One thing I keep seeing on Reddit and Facebook is that they bury Ty Dillinger. Oh, yeah. And I, I had you watch that. that clip. The match was very quick, um, but Ty held his own. 
Yeah. For the majority of the match. Yeah. Like, and it was a, a match in Fast Forward. I'm sure... I think people just were like, I know that this is a term that they use. He got buried. Right. Yeah, it's and that is a thing now. I've seen on Twitter from actual wrestlers... And I do kind of hate using terms like that, but it is, it is apt a lot of times. Right. But he didn't get buried. He was on TV yeah. against AJ Styles in a major storyline. Yeah. How the hell is that buried? And he countered AJ Styles' freaking forearm and almost got him in with his, with his finisher. Yeah, that was not. that's not buried. No. It would have been buried if the match started... He just tells walked out of the ring, forearm to tie a win. Right, yeah. The only thing I can see him being somewhat buried is Baron Corbin killing him afterwards. Yeah, but that wasn't in a match. And that can just set up for uh, Ty and Baron Corbin. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. That could be a good match. I know you don't like Baron Corbin. I don't. That's the only thing you're thinking about was, no, Baron can't yeah. work with him either. Yeah. <sighs> But what makes me happy is I can hope. Uh, WWE shop picture that I saw a little. Yeah, earlier you need to tonight. find that. It should be actually it might be right here when I open the phone. But uh, yeah, someone said that they photoshopped hair onto Baron Corbin on a picture in the WWE shop. Right. Because his uh, Matt is um, quickly receding hairline. Yeah, it is kind of weird. He needs to just shave his head or something. That's what everyone says. Someone photoshopped that, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, that works. He needs to do something before it... It, it just already looks weird. I was going to say before it looks weird, but it's what? already there. What? What? Is this true? I don't know. It's true. What? It's damn true. Um, JBL's being replaced. Okay. Totally cool with that. But with who? You never guess. CM Punk? Billion years you would never guess. CM Punk? No. Daniel Bryan? No. I don't know. You just keep guessing. Uh, Paul Heyman? No. Uh, never, Jim Cornette? Never guess. Selfie oh. stick guy. Paul Everts? No. Am I saying his last name right? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, John Cena? Think outside the box. Like, who would you not expect? Joe to Rogan. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. That'd be awesome. Uh, Bernie Burns. Nope. Gavin Free. No, no, no. Even uh, even more unlikely. Uh, Kumail Ninjani. Chris Hardwick. <laughs> oh, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know who. Did you just say the guy from The Talking Dead? Yeah, he's my hero. Nurse. I love him. I love his ex-wife, too. I'm never going to find out who. TJP. Wait, why? TJ Perkins. Yeah, what? <clears throat> TJ Perkins, happy to announce that I will be replacing JBL on hashtag SD Live commentary team. Tuesday nights just got better. WWE, two seconds ago from whenever they... Uh, screenshot of this. Breaking at Mega TJP will be joining the hashtag SD Live commentary team every Tuesday night. Did something happen to TJP? He might. He might have got injured. I don't Dude, know. Dude, he's what? Twenty five, and he's been wrestling for twenty years. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much something like that. I think he's twenty five. Wrestled for thirty six. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yes. That's, that sounds more accurate. Um, okay. I yeah. Mean, TJ, he does good promos. Yeah. And anything's better than JBL. Yeah. My Stupid. favorite, I didn't know he was actually leaving, but my favorite... Uh, yeah, this is the first I've heard of it. Meme I saw of it earlier today was... Uh, uh, what's that guy's name? You'll know, know who it is. That guy standing up and the just captioned underneath was... It was said after J. You find out JBL's name. Okay. It's just Mama Mia underneath it. Thank God, it's, man. It's that guy. What's his name again? Uh, Mauro Ronaldo. Yeah, I love that guy too. It sucks I can never remember. You know him. why JBL got fired? Because no. we asked for it to happen. We did. Thanks for listening. We called this. We did. 
That's right. They were a little slow on it. They're not as quick as the Shazam. It happens, you know, with these corporate things. Sometimes it's a bit slow to happen. Yeah, yeah. good. The piece of shit got fired. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Best of luck in your future endeavors, JBL. Asshole. But yeah, TJP, okay. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, he's not that great. And then he moves on to something else. I know, right? But, you know, I mean, it's sometimes <coughs> guys got to move on from wrestling because they're so beat up. Austin Aries was also doing commentary a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see where this goes. Yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Well, a little bit because that means he's going to wrestle less. Right. I don't think he's wrestled he, much lately. He's still got a job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So Which is a win. Happy. Yes, absolutely. Dude deserves it. Hopefully the crowd chants, you deserve it, as he's putting his headset on. Yes. <laughs> yes. I will be. Uh, so, we watched the fight. What did you think of the fight? Mayweather versus McGregor. Uh, you know, I'm not a... Okay, I'm not a boxing guy. Right. Surprise. Um, I am an MMA guy, sort of. I enjoy it. I dabble in it. Um, no, not the TJ. <laughs> um, see when when we get video, you'll understand what just happened. Yes. Um, which is happening soon. I mean, it was boring. I thought it was a pretty good fight. Got a little exciting at the end. Don't understand the finish. He got he got rocked good, real good. But he never went down. No, that's why it was a TKO. Yeah. The ref decided that he got hit too hard and stopped it. And the ref was on his case the whole night, too. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a boxing match. It was interesting. Not not for me to judge, really. Um, Yeah. (laughs) A very expensive fight. Yeah. Uh... Made a lot of money. Uh, good for everybody who made money. Yeah. I wish I would have put money on it. I wish I would have too because I would have been right. Yeah. I mean, I wanted Connor to win, but he obviously wasn't going to. He had a lot of heart. Yeah. He had a lot of heart. To go ten rounds with an undefeated yeah. champion boxer. I mean, and Mayweather may not have fought his hardest, but... You know, something... You can't tell when he's fighting his hardest. That's the problem. Yeah, there's that, too. But, you know, if he didn't fight his hardest, there there was a reason. Yeah. He... Yeah. But so, yeah, that, that, that's pretty it, much it. It was, it was a boxing match. I did a more extended review thoughts on it in the last episode. Kind of a bonus episode. Check that out if you're interested. Um, now, are we going to get to see... Mayweather in the octagon. That's I think that'd be uh, it. Only be fair. The next logical step. Mayweather's too smart for it. He's not going to do it. No. He will get murdered. He doesn't yeah. like getting hit. Yeah. Which is nobody does. Yeah, but that's like when people talk about Mayweather, they say that like it's a bad thing. Like, oh, he doesn't like getting hit. He doesn't want to get hit. Like, okay. What's your point? He doesn't like wanna, getting hit. Yeah. Nobody likes getting hit. <laughs> And and something in uh, the Joe Rogan podcast did a, actually did a whole episode on the fight. Um, Mayweather was raised by I believe an uncle and a father who were boxers, so he sees the effects of that brain damage. Yeah, which I'm sure was him like, all right, I want to do this still, but I'm going to develop a style so I don't end up like yeah my uncle and my dad. Oh yeah, smart dude, made all the money in the world. I got a lot of respect for Mayweather. I mean, other he, than being he, his wife, which is very unfortunate. Did he? Yeah. I didn't even know about that. He's kind of a piece of shit. Ah. I have a lot of respect for his career, not the person. Alright. <laughs> that well, just changed everything for you, huh? Yeah? Yeah. A little bit. I mean, he, he makes, I know he makes some douchebag decisions. I told you earlier, we just gotta be shittier people and things will get better. Yeah, if we could just be <laughs> terrible people, we can make some money. Yeah, and just have a better life. 
It's apparently well, how it works. At least just have money. Yeah. I don't know if That'd it's going nice. to necessarily be better, but we'll have more money. Speaking of shitty people. All right. Terrible people. Sexy star. Yeah. Oh, Lord. So, by the way, did you know that Triple Mania show was on Twitch? No. Yeah, they streamed it on Twitch. Apparently pro wrestling on Twitch is becoming a thing. Okay. Yeah. There's something else on Twitch that I, I, I don't know if I've talked to you about. But uh, Twitch.tv slash best in the realm? Because I think that's what you should be watching. That's what everyone should be watching. PUBG right all the time. I don't know what the fuck that means. Play around doing battlegrounds. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> that's another game we got to get <laughs> you to play. Uh, I'm still up for doing that series. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We might do some tomorrow night. Um, uh, oh, where, where was I? Oh, what, what was the other thing on Twitch you wanted to talk about? Or was that for, like, another show? Other show. Or other okay. podcast. Our other podcast, the Future <clears throat> Villains podcast. Check that out. Subscribe to it. Comment on it. All the things. You know what, you know what to do. Yeah. Uh, that's a nerdy show, just so you know. It's Actually, like the, uh, the like, comment, subscribe thing is... Has now gotten to be smash, smash the like button. <laughs> no, it, it's just it's to the point now where it's like the uh, leave your message after the beep. Yes, it's like you know what to do. You know what to do. Yeah. So that's that's just our bullshitting podcast. We we spent too much time just ranting today. Yeah. Um, like we're doing now. Yeah, but yeah, the sexy star thing was pretty so, fucked. It was. Like, did you watch the video? I yes. watched it, and it's. Kind of unsettling. It is. It, it's up there with, uh, you know, like, uh, Vicious Sid. Sid, Sid Vicious. Vicious. <laughs> vicious Sid. Uh, Sid Vicious breaking his leg. Ooh, that's... I... Ooh. Uh, that makes me not even want to stand. Yeah, I know. Every time I see anyone... Like, a lot of the luchador guys that, like, had to drop down and then do the roll. I yeah. think that every time. I'm like, your leg! Okay, you're okay. Um, but, man, so what happened was there was a match, uh, which it was the Reina de Reina's championship match. I'm saying that totally wrong. Uh, which also included Lady Shani and Ayako Hamada. Um, Nailed it. <laughs> sexy star... She was arguing with one of the other women. They got into, like, a legit fight, apparently. And the match was supposed to end with Sexy Star submitting Rosemary. And instead of submitting her, she broke her fucking arm. I like, read legit. That she, I read that she broke it, and I also read that she dislocated it. So I'm not sure which one it is. Okay. But either one is not cool. It, oh my god, it looked like it hurt. One, obviously, more not cool than the it other, but still. reminds me of, and I still don't know if this was fake or not, when Brock Lesnar did the same thing to Triple H. Did you ever see that? No, but I'm sure that's fake. Oh my god, dude, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't, I think if that was real, I don't think he'd be working. Okay, hold on. Is this muted? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, Brock Lesnar, when he came back... Let's see. Brock. You're not typing. <clears throat> You're not typing. I'm not typing. I'm sitting on the couch. When Brock Lesnar came back and he was kind of wrecking everybody. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, see, I think I just found it. Brock Lesnar breaks Triple H's arm. All right. Well, let's, let's see. Yeah, this is it. You know, I always expect these videos to have a jump scare. I don't know why. This is at some point, like, a demon pop out and scare the bejeebus out of me. So, yeah, Brock Lesnar beating the hell out of Triple H. And it's probably fake, but it was great just because of the motion that they make. Oh, my God, he hit him. Did I see this? I don't know. Ugh! And... That I already had. Oh! <laughs> Your arm doesn't bend that way! Oh my god! Wanna see it again? I do wanna see it again. And. Hey! Whoa. 
That's I wrong. feel like Triple H is a badass enough to let him do it for real. I really do. I don't know. Um, I mean, he was in a cast for a while after that as well. But I mean, maybe that was him. If it did happen for real, that was Triple H consenting to that for storyline reasons and for insurance reasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and because Homeboy already makes a shit ton of money. Whereas Sexy Star doing it to Rosemary, now Rosemary can't work. She's a, she's a broken arm, a dislocated yeah. arm, whatever. Even if it's just dislocated, best case scenario, she's out for a while. Oh, yeah. I don't know if she still works for TNA or not. GFW, whatever. Um, which would be like her only source of income. And then, of course, you know, there's uh, merch. Right. So if, if you're out there and Rosemary is out right now, I'm buy sure some merch. A Kickstarter. Oh, Christ, I'm sure there is. And Sexy Star's whole response to this was, oh, I understand that the girl got hurt, and uh, I'm just going to keep working, and I'll comment on it at a later, more appropriate time. I'm paraphrasing, but that's pretty much what she said. And a lot of, like, cliche things in yeah. the statement, too. I was like, all right, this is just a load of bullshit. Gotcha. Yeah. And basically, every promoter... And every major indie star was like, yeah, she's not working with me. Yep. Thank God. Like, oh, yeah. Is Lucha Underground going to drop her now? She's a pretty major star in Lucha Underground. Yeah, I know. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so, too. Because that, that, that whole situation, that's just... That's messed up. I don't understand why you would do that. Especially the person who didn't piss you off. Right. And just... Like, I hate to talk about this side of wrestling. Yeah. Like, the real side. Um, the working side, the gotta pay bill side. But your job when you're in the ring is to protect your opponent at right. all costs. And... She did not... It's like one of the first things you learn. Yeah, that is... I mean, I I remember there were points where it was like, oh, you can't pick that per you can't lift this much weight, then you're not allowed to do these moves. Right, yeah. You're allowed to do, like, a body slam or a suplex where the other person helps you a lot. Yeah, but it's And that's uh, pretty much it. Yeah, you're, the number one goal is to make sure the other person's safe. Yeah, and if both people are doing that, then all will be fine. Yep. And... and just didn't. It just didn't happen on that day. Nope. So, Sexy Star, you are not welcome on this podcast. Yeah, no, if she wants to come on here and tell her side of the story, I guess. I guess we'll, we'll hear her. <laughs> We're like the only people who would be okay with it. It would get us some, some hits. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> also might get hit. <laughs> so might get our arms broken. That's true. By Sexy Star. Yeah. So this yeah, has been a Future maybe, Heels podcast. How many more listens are we going to get for it, though? You're right. We'll see. I'll, re <laughs> I'll reach out to Sexy Star. <laughs> see how um, interested she is. This has been the Future Heels podcast, guys. Thank you for has. listening. I hate where they're ending on kind of a somber note. Go to hell, Sexy Star. You're not being on the show. I just made the decision. It's happening. Just so you guys know, we do have a camera incoming. We will be doing video content soon. Keep an eye on the futurevillains.com website. That's F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S.com. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel. Keep an eye on my Twitter at Best in the Realm. You can find my YouTube channel, Best in the Realm, and twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. Um, you can find us on iTunes. Not SoundCloud anymore, because SoundCloud's going under. Yeah, I saw So that. I pretty much stopped posting on SoundCloud. Um, we are on Stitcher. We are on lots of other things. Just all the things. We're on all the things. All the things. We started a new podcast, the Few True Villains podcast, as we mentioned earlier. It's going to be yeah. kind of our, our nerdy life, lifestyle, whatever podcast. Just whatever. I this one's strictly style. wrestling. You know, there were, there was a few episodes back where Brian really wanted to talk about drones. Yeah. And he, we let him for like 30 seconds. Yeah. This podcast, he talks about them all the time. Sometimes. Like one episode. All the time. 
some of the time. That's all we needed. We just needed one episode to let you talk about yeah. it, and now you're done. But I'm going to need that for other things. You need to start making some drone videos. Because I, I hobby hop. We have a drone video on our YouTube channel. We do. Yeah, you do hobby hop. Stop doing that. Hobby hop. I'm a hobby hopper. Hobby hopper. Where can they find you, Brian? Uh, on Twitter, at BrianMan25. And more importantly, on Instagram, at BrianMan1138. Thank you for listening, guys. Brooks is going to be back soon. He's still alive. Promise. And we've got more people who are interested in the show, so... Yeah, but not this show. We... The other uh, show. Still. We'll see. We'll see. Listen to the other show and listen to all the other people. It'll mostly be me and Brian. Let's stop.